In the U.S. state of Ohio, a skeleton crew transfers coal to barges bound for power plants. Coal was once a thriving industry in this region, but cheaper natural gas and tightening environmental regulations are hurting the industry. J.B. Holliday is shift manager. I have half the workforce here that I used to have. I have half the production coming out of this place because of uh, unfair regulations. The shift towards green energy is playing out here on a personal level. The worst thing I've ever done as manager of this coal loading facility is I have to call a young man into my office and tell him he doesn't have a job anymore. When a coal miner loses a job, they face an uncertain future. These are good paying jobs. People in the coal industry in this area often make seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollars a year. There are few, if any, jobs available in this area that pay that well in industries other than coal. This facility is owned by Murray Energy. Last year, the company employed 8,400 people. Now it's down to about 5,500. CEO and founder Robert Murray says the U.S. needs cheap, reliable coal, denies global warming is real, and is suing the U.S. federal government to stop tighter environmental restrictions. Even with all of the resistance that I'm putting up personally in, my companies, we're losing. We're losing to these folks who want to get rid of coal. The battle over coal is playing out in the race for president. Hillary Clinton shocked miners in March when she said this. Because we're going to put a lot of coal miners and coal companies out of business. She says those comments were taken out of context, but they've hurt whatever chances she may have had in coal country. Y'all put it on, right? Donald Trump promises to bring back the coal industry. We're going to put the miners back to work. We're going to put the miners back to work. We're going to get those mines open. It's not surprising that most here support Trump. Some environmentalists say green jobs will balance out the jobs lost in the coal industry. If you look at the growth in number of environmental jobs and green energy jobs over the last 10 years, you see a significant growth and a significantly more people participating in technologies like wind and solar power. But for miners here, those jobs seem out of reach. I worry sometimes, you know, that, uh, you know, when's my time going to be up? When am I going to get called into somebody's office and I have to sit down and be told that I don't have a job anymore? The battle between coal and green energy can seem like a battle between the past and the future, but it's a fight neither side is ready to give up on. The harder that they push on me, the harder I'm going to push on them. But the odds are increasingly against coal. Jim Spellman, CCTV. Powhatan Point, Ohio.